morning. Oh, my face is a bit white. Good afternoon and good evening wherever you're watching this. Uh, I'm back out again today because, you know, I love it. I'm on a bit of Phil's land. He's invited me out and oh, I tell you what, it looks absolutely amazing. It really does. We've had some good stuff up here, hasn't it? We, we certainly have. Yeah, and we're going to have something today. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> on that note, let's chat to you. Thank you very much, Phil. And we'll see you on the first season hole. Right, off a trot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, my fourth signal. Uh, I've dug a few little bits of lead. It looks round and it looks silver from here. I might be wrong. It is round and it is silver. It's a bit of a butter. <laughs> oh, you started, you mean to go on. I just literally got out the hole, saw the glint of silver, I didn't even know it was a button, and it's a button. I was actually half hoping it was a silver room. <laughs> hey, I ain't grumbling. It's round, it's in the ground, my voice is going. But I'm out digging, I love it. Right, off a drop. All I can say is what a beautiful day it is today. Uh, it's a little bit chilly, a little bit cold, not windy, nice and sunny. Uh, I've got this little bit of lead out. Um, it's got a little nipple on it. I have no idea what it's from or for. But it's definitely flat one side, look. And it's got a little nipple. A little lead nipple sticking up. But anyway, who knows what it is? Do you know? If do, comment below. Then the good side. Right, up a trot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Look at, look at that. I'm wearing muddy, muddy feet going on. Uh, I've already a little wife. I think it's a bag seal. I think I saw some writing on one of the sides. Let's get a little gander. Oh, it's not really writing. There's definitely a pattern there. Can you see it? Yeah, that's an old bag seal, that one. I like that. Oh, is that a picture? That's it. Yeah, man. Can't quite make it out just yet. It looks like a little turnip or something, doesn't it? Yeah, we like that. And there is some writing on the other side, just coming through the edge. Yeah, definitely bag seal. Cool. Right, another one. Off a drop. Right, my next signal is this here. Oh, doesn't that make your heart go a little bit? I already know what it is. It's a blooming button again. But this one's got a lovely little bird design on it, I saw. See? See the little pigeon? <laughs> it's like a pigeon on a crown. Yeah. yeah, that's cool though. I like it. I do like my good old buttons. But I want a silver coin. Or any coin. Any coin will do. Anyway, over drop. Right, on to my next signal out of the hole. Um, again, I've put it down and I don't know where I've put it. It was kind of cute looking. Is that cute looking? No, that's cute looking. <laughs> uh, answers on a postcard. You know what this is? I think that's a nice watch winder with a little loop on the top as well. I haven't got many of the little loops still attached to it. Uh, I think that end might be a bit broken though, but hey, that's a nice looking at it. I'd say Victorian watch winder. That is quite funky. Right on that note. There you go. Sweet. Right. Off the top. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this here, no doubtably, is the longest piece of chain I have ever dug. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Mr. T lost his chain, I found it. Well, then Mr. T's chain was gold. This one isn't, so... I don't think it is Mr. T's. Meh. <laughs> Off a chop. Right, my next find here. A little tiny hole comes this massive spindle wall. Oh, please have a nice design on it. I haven't found one with a nice design on for eight. No, no, just plain to bend over. Old one though. Got a big hole in the middle, look. But hey, do you like the old artifacts like this? My voice is coming back. Ooh. Ready to shout my woohoo for some gold or some silver. That ain't gonna happen, but you gotta live in hope. Right, off a trot. Right, I'm on to my next decent signal. It's this little buckle here, look, look at that. Do you like a nice buckle? Uh, that one's not too old though. I'm gonna say that is at least uh, only Victorian or Georgian looking at the state of it. But hey, I ain't complaining. Cool, another fine for the pot. And off we go. <laughs> right, on to my next signal. I know some of you guys have missed these. It's a button for a lady, a lady's button. Oh. Oh. That served me right. <laughs> yeah, look, look closely, you've got like little stars all over it. 
very decorative ladies button. Uh, the other side's like solid as well, so I don't know what that's off. But that's cool, another fancy button for the day, right off the chop. All right, just catch up video. You'll beat me on the coins in a moment, yeah? I am. Four. Four coins, <laughs> I've got none. Uh, but you've got some nice stuff. Well, I've got some nice artifacts yeah. coming up, nice yeah. relics and artifacts, but hey, the day is not over, about halfway through the day. A few hours left, so yeah, so. It's let's, there, it's let's, waiting let's, for us. It's here, it's waiting, <laughs> it's underneath our feet. Yeah. Less chatting to you guys, and more digging holes. Anyway, off we trot. We're on to my next signal out the ground. It's this here, it's got a bit of weight to it. I don't know if that's a bit of tut or a bit of summit summit. Uh, it's like, got like a rope work design on it. I'm not sure, you know. Who knows? Right, I'll put it on the good side. And let's crack on. I still haven't found a coin. Where are you, coins? I've been eluded by coins recently. Anyway, must be saving up for something special. Who knows? On that note, let's crack on. Start digging. Right, there's a better signal. It's this here. It's one of those gorgeous little buckles. I found two of these in a row up on my permission. Well, someone told me these are actually inside of the buckles, the actual bit that lock them together. But yeah, man, I do like that. Never will find. Not a coin now, is it? I'll take it. <laughs> right off a truck. Right, I just dug yet another baton. Um, but there's this sort of around. You know what that is, don't you? Oyster shell. Well, there's oyster shell. There's a good possibility of some Roman. So yeah. Any coin will do me now. I don't care what it is. It could be a modern penny. Any coin at all. I'm not fussy. All right, let's crack on. Here we go. Can I come across this here? Oh, I don't think it is a coin. I think it's a lead token looking at it. I'm feeling of it. Oh, Here's that. Is that like a little coin tradeway or something? It's only got like a, a chest, crest, crest of arms. Ooh, look at that! Is that better than a coin? I'm not sure. I suppose it is because you find coins all the time. Don't you find uh, trade weights like this? That is nice. That is a bit fancy. That there is my find of the day so far, and uh, I'll give it a proper clean up in a bit. Uh, with some squirty and a bit of toothbrush, but I don't want to rub it too much. It's like two people holding hands that side, like the look, look of it, and uh, check. Is it the same both sides? I don't know, but anyway, a bit of lead, fancy. Off a drop. Oh, I just shouted to Phil, right. I have had every artifact known to man out of metal detecting but a coin. And this just proves it. I've got a nice Jew's heart, look. <laughs> Almost complete, but missing the tang on it. But yeah, <laughs> everything, oh, but a, everything but a coin. Yeah, amazing. Hey, we still got about 10 minutes left, so you can no one never know. Right, let's crack on. My luck, all right. Out of this hole, I dug an amazing condition, perfect preserve. It was a rusty nail. <laughs> Absolute rusty, rusty nail. And then who comes over with a bit of gold? <laughs> now, first of all, we're like, oh, is it? Is it? I've just cleaned it up, and the weight of that, that is definitely gold. 100%. I don't know what it was off. Let's try and get it in the light so you can actually see the pureness. But that is gold. Lovely, eh? <laughs> you All I can say is you're a jammy you? sod. <laughs> look, look, he's showing his coins off now as well. Yeah. I'm loving. Yeah, this is a car I've had a clean out since then. I've had a few right. buttons. Got about 15, 20 minutes left maximum. My turn, come on. Yeah. All right, it's my next signal of the day. The sun is setting in the sky. I still haven't found a coin. Um, looks like a cloth seal or something. Another lead one. Oh my god, there's loot. Look at that. Yeah, man, I like that. Got loads of lead artifacts today. Not a single coin. And I'm heading back to the car now, so. You know what I say? Save the best till last, you never know. Right, crack on. My obligatory musket ball for the day. I've had about three of these, but I'm only filming this one. A long way back. Uh, yeah, just a big ball of lead. Right, let's crack on. All right, it's like metal detecting bingo at the moment, uh, trying to get a full house. Look, obviously, the coin's going to be the middle square, but I've got another line up because it's got a bit of a thimble. It's a bit of a battered thimble, but I'll take it. I'll take thimbles all day long, look. 
Hey. I ain't grumbling. Well, I am. I want a bloody coin. Penny coin. Modern penny. Oh, I've lowered my standards from gold Roman to modern penny. It's just... <laughs> right, let's crack on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another hunt. Didn't get a single coin. Oh, yeah, just so you know, today's episode of uh, the Grim Reaper has been sponsored by Snoodafed. For when you feel like you've got a really hard head cold and you want to get out digging, Snoodafed is the way to go. Meh. Yeah, that's some nice artifacts, isn't I? Um, juice heart. Ooh. Bag seal. Uh, cloth seal. Nice batons. Yeah. Phil's a really nice bloke as well. Um, invite me out again. He must like me. Um, but anyway, boys and girls, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I'll try to put out videos at least once a week if I can get out and not dying of man flu. Um, yeah. That's all. Be good, be kind, and off we trot.